Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the diagonal traverse 2. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1424. So in this question we are given with an 2D integer array nums and we have to return all the elements of nums in the diagonal order as shown in the given image. So if you see, suppose we have a matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9. It is a 3 cross 3 matrix. So the first diagonal will be 1. Second will include 4 and 2. Third will include 7, 5 and 3. 4th will be 8 and 6 and 5th and the last will have 9. So the intuition to uh, this problem is to return all the elements of the 2D array in uh, diagonal order and uh, we can use something uh, some data structure such as a map to store the element ways on the diagonal positions and then construct the result array by iterating it through that data structure which we have constructed. So this is the main intuition. So suppose we can use a map. So I am going to just tell you an uh, example explanation. Uh, it, it is a dry run sort of the uh, algorithm which we are going to use. So we are going to use a, a map data structure with a max sum. So uh, let's see for this example. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 cross 3 matrix. So for this we may need M, that is the number of rows, 3 in this case. Then we'll need a maximum uh, max sum, that will store the maximum sum of row and column indices. Then we'll have a size, that is the total number of elements in the nums. In, in this case it will be 9. And the index, the current index uh, in which, in the result array, where we are. So the second step is to create a map. So we need to create the map now. Now uh, we create a map to store the element based on their diagonal positions. And we also update size and max sum as we iterate through the elements of nums. And uh, let's create a table to visualize. Suppose we have for diagonal 0, we have 1. For 1, we have 2, 4. For 2, we have 3, 5, 7. For 3, we have 6 and 8. For 4 we have 9, so the size becomes actually 9 and the maximum sum here is 4, maximum diagonal position that is this one, maximum diagonal position 4 and maximum size is, size is actually 9, total number of element. So we can now construct the result array, uh, we iterate each diagonal position from 0 to maximum and append the elements to the result array in the reverse order. So you have to do nothing but the elements in the diagonal are to be added in the reverse order. We have taken one, then add it in reverse. So this is added in reverse. Then this elements are added in reverse. You can see this added in reverse. Then add this in reverse. This is added in reverse. Nine added in reverse. So this is how we are going to solve this problem. So let's start with the coding section but before that <clears throat> please do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So as I told you first of all we will need an M. So it will have nums.size because nums is a array list or a list. We also need a max sum equal to 0. Size equal to 0. Initialize with 0 and index equal to zero okay we have this then we have a list of integer and this was the map uh, since we have declared their uh, array so we are uh, we need to define the size so this is the size the size is taken from here actually turn to this var 5 plus 1 constraints so now let's iterate through each row in uh, each row i in nums so int i equals to 0 i less than m i plus plus 
then we have to increment the size by the elements in the current root so size plus equal to nums dot get i dot size and then iterate through each element j in the current row so we iterate in the j is less than nums dot get i dot size and then j plus plus so now we have int sum equal to i plus j this will be the current sum uh, and it is used to di determine the diagonal position this i plus j is used to determine the diagonal position now if we see the map of sum equal equal to null then map of sum actually equal to new empty array list And then what we can do map dot sum dot add nums dot 